Hi, today's question is, what is the probability of each of the following sets of parents producing the given genotypes in their offspring? And from the beginning, this may look like uh, it's very complicated problem, especially if you take a look here. We have, uh, here is a genotype of one parent, and here is a genotype of the second parent. We cross them, and we have to find the probability of getting progeny with uh, this particular genotype. But here at the beginning we have a uh, least complicated case and after we'll uh, solve this problem it would be much easier to solve uh, these three problems. So if you consider that you can solve this problem on your own you may stop video here, uh, take a pen and try to solve all these problems and then you can run video again and compare your answers with, with my answers and explanations. So here I start solving our problem with first example and we have uh, one heterozygous parent and another heterozygous parent and we have to find what is the probability that the progeny also would be um, heterozygous. So uh, we can solve this problem uh, very easily by building a Punnett square. So uh, one parent is heterozygous, capital A, small a. Another parent is also heterozygous, capital A, small a. So we build a Punnett square in order to find uh, what kind of progeny the genotype uh, these two parents may produce. So here we have capital A, capital A, capital A, small a, small a, capital A, and small a, small a. As you see, uh, the question is what is the probability to get this progeny? And as you he see here, we have two out of four uh, heterozygous progeny of this capital A small a. Here is the order is different small a capital A but this is absolutely the same as uh, capital A small a. So order here is not important. Uh, it's also heterozygous as long as this one. So um, we may say that uh, probability is 2 out of 4 or 1 out of 2 so one half, so we may also say that uh, probability here would be one out of two. Or we may also say 50%. So let's find for the second example where we have a capital A, a small a, we have to cross with the other parent small a, small a. We once again build a Punnett square capital A small a for one parent and small a small a for the second parent and once again we build Punnett square and here is a going to be genotypes of our progeny so small a capital A here small a small a here small a capital A here small a and small a here so as you see we have uh, 2 out of 4 also, um, small a, capital A. So the answer would be the same and we have to put here 1 half or 50%. Now let's move to the third more complicated example and as you see here we have two pairs of chromosomes or two pa pairs of lassi so here is a going to be the first one so we have to cross two pairs and uh, I already show you how to do it and then we have second pairs of the lassi uh, for each of the parent so uh, in order to solve this problem we just have to solve for each pair of loci separately. So as you see here we have a heterozygous parent for the loci 
A and second parent is also heterozygous for the loci A. And we already solved this problem uh, in this first example and we got probability um, uh, uh, here. So we ask it what uh, is the probability for capital A, capital A in their progeny. And as you see here, the probability would be 1 out of 4 if we cross two parents uh, who is going to be heterozygous and 1 out of 4 would be homozygous dominant and this is what we are looking here for so we can put 1 quarter 1 out of 4 for the loci AA and now we have to find what is the probability uh, when we cross uh, capital B small b with capital B capital B uh, what is the probability for the progeny to be capital B capital B in this particular loci so we have to build once again Punnett square so we can put capital B and small b here and um, capital B capital B for the other parent here so once again we build Punnett square and here we have capital B capital B capital B small b capital B capital B and capital B small b and as you see uh, the probability would be um, 2 out of 4 or we also might say one half so we put here one half for the uh, second loci that is uh, heterozygous uh, for one parent and homozygous capital for the second parent and the probability of getting this uh, capital B capital B would be uh, 50 percent or uh, one half or two out of four. So now we have to multiply these two separate probabilities and the answer would be one out of eight. So this is the answer for the uh, number three. And now we can solve for the uh, number four using the same uh, technique. So we have here uh, heterozygous uh, loci for the parent 1 for the A and homozygous dominant for the parent 2 and we already have it here for the B uh, so we don't have to build a new Punnett square and we know that the probability of getting uh, small a small a or um, homozygous recessive would be zero because here you don't see anywhere uh, homozygous recessive so here is a heterozygous and here is a homozygous dominant so for the uh, possibility to cross this um, parent one with this parent two and if we have a homozygous dominant uh, here and heterozygous here the probability of getting uh, homozygous recessive would be zero so we can put zero here uh, so we uh, cannot get such uh, plant so we even don't have to solve for the second pair of chromosomes here or loci here that is here because we didn't uh, solve for the first um, loci to be AA so we don't have to solve it for the second loci because such uh, progeny is not possible in such a cross so now we left uh, only last example and here we have a heterozygous uh, parent for the loci A uh, parent number one and heterozygous parent number two and uh, we ask it what is the probability 
for them to have uh, heterozygous progeny and we already have such example here heterozygous parent for the A and heterozygous parent for the A loci and probability of getting heterozygous progeny would be um, one half two out of four or one half so we can put one half here and now we have to solve for the uh, second loci heterozygous uh, for the uh, loci B parent 1 and heterozygous for loci B parent 2 when we cross them once again the question what is the probability of getting heterozygous um, progeny for the loci B and this is the same just uh, uh, different letters but still heterozygous so uh, answer here also would be one half so we have to multiply this to independent probabilities and the answer would be one fourth or one out of four or also we may say that this is probably 25 percent so here is a zero percent and here would be um, 12.5% So now I hope you would be able to solve such problems very easily if you find them on your exam and uh, most of the people if um, trained for some time you would be able to solve such problems uh, even without drawing Punnett square and you would be able to do it uh, in your mind so just uh, follow this rule and whenever you have uh, complicated cases with two loci or even three loci just do uh, uh, segregation for each allele separately and then uh, multiply chances for particular uh, uh, genotype of the progeny and multiply such independent uh, events and probabilities and you will get your answer. So thank you for attention. Please subscribe to my uh, videos that I post almost every day. Please uh, write your comments in the comment box. That's all for today. Goodbye.